Hello. Sort of x squared plus 5x minus 14 is less than 0. So this is an inequality problem in quadratic form. So to solve this, you have to first find what we call critical values. That is by factorizing this quadratic expression on the left. So factorizing this, we know 14 as factors of 2 and 7. But one of these ones should be negative for us to get a negative 14. And when we add these two, should give us a 5. So that is it. And we have x squared minus 2x plus 7x minus 14 is less than 0. So this will be factorized and we end up with x into x minus 2 for the first two pairs, for the first two terms, and then plus 7 into x minus 2 less than 0. So that will be x minus 2, and then x plus 7 is less than 0. From this we can get the critical values. So we say critical values. Equate this first bracket to 0, you'll get a 2. And equate this second bracket to 0, you'll get a negative 7. So these are our critical values. Now, to get the solution or the range of values for which that inequality is true, there are very many methods. One of them is the graph core where you have to sketch the curve then see the values either above or below or using a table and other methods but in this video we are going to use a table so first we know that we have negative 7 and we have 2 so there are some values which are below negative 7. There are some values between negative 7 and 2 and there are some values which are above 2. So you have to write those three inequalities. For the values below, the values in between and the values after. So for the values below, the inequality will be x is less than negative 7. In between will be negative 7 is less than x, less than 2. Then after it will be x is greater than 2. So our table will be having these inequalities and the critical values. So let me put these values here. We begin with this part, which is x is less than negative 7. And then the values in between negative 7 and 2. And the values after 2, which is x greater than 2. And here we are putting there this factorized form. That is x minus 2 and x plus 7. And our end product should be x minus 2, x plus 7. So what are we interested in? We are interested in seeing if the values we get are less than 0 or greater than 0. 
less than zero values are the negative values and greater than zero values are the positive values. Why am I talking about zero? Because it's the one which is on the right. So we are only interested in the signs. We are not interested in the exact values we are getting after substituting in different values but you're interested in the sign, either positive or negative. So for values of values of x which are less than negative 7, we can use any value, for example negative 8. If I put here negative 8 minus 2 to give me negative 10, but I've said I'm interested in a negative, that is the sign. Then if I put here negative 8, that will give me negative 8 plus 7 and it will give me a negative 1. So I just write negative. Then this is a product of these two. When I multiply a negative times a negative, I end up with a positive. So we are done with this part. Let's go to the values in between in between negative 7 and 2. Use any values. You can use 1, you can use 0, you can use negative 1. And let's use a 0. If I put a 0 here, 0 minus 2, it gives me negative 2, which is just a negative. 0 plus 7 gives me a positive 7. And when I multiply negative times a positive, I get negative and then finally values greater than 2 values greater than 2 we can use 10 100 anything let's use 10 10 minus 2 that will give us a positive result 10 plus 7 to give us a positive outcome and when I multiply a positive times a positive I get a positive but when we go back to our inequality the question the question is interested in values which are less than zero values which are less than zero are the negative values so from this part this is our answer so our answer is negative 7 is less than x and is less than 2 because it's the one which satisfies the inequality Thank you.